Hi friends, in this video we will see the questions from heat transfer for your DSPSC Polytechnic Lecturers Examination for Mechanical Engineering Branch as well as Automobile Engineering Branch. Let us see. Heat transfer takes place according to which of the law of thermodynamics? Zeroth law, first law, second law, third law. Zeroth law gives the concept of temperature, first law gives the concept of heat and work or energy transfer second of thermodynamics gives the concept of entropy and third of thermodynamics gives the concept of absolute entropy actually the heat transfer takes place according to the second of thermodynamics that is the correct answer right the unit of thermal conductivity in mks units is so kilo calorie is equal to friends we know that 4.18 kilojoules so it should be in terms of something like watt per meter kelvin okay so here in the denominator we should have the units of time so calorie is the unit of joule joule or energy by time or work by time is going to give the what you call work and it is actually watt per meter kelvin is the unit of thermal conductivity but it can be also kilo calorie meter per hour meter square so here meter meter square in the denominator gets cancelled it is something like your kilo calories per hour meter both are same something like your watt per meter kelvin okay so the correct answer is kilo calorie meter per hour meter square right degree centigrade also degree centigrade is also there friends it should be present actually so this is the basic is from your Fourier's law which says that q dot is equal to minus k a dt by dx k is the thermal connectivity a is the area of cross section of the heat transfer and dt by dx is the temperature gradient across the wall q dot is the heat transfer rate that is the units are your power right now the third one is the essential condition for the transfer of heat from one body to another is what is the correct answer it should be there must exist a temperature difference between the bodies so is it that both bodies must be in physical contact so no it is not there okay even there even if there is no physical contact for example in the radiation there will be no physical contact right heat content of one body must be more than that of the other it is not a necessary condition right actually there should be existing some heat potential difference or the temperature difference right so one of the bodies must be have a high value of thermal conductivity no so thermal conductivity is not going to play any role uh, for the transfer of heat from one body to another actually there should be existing some temperature difference or thermal potential that is a must condition so the correct answer is four unit of thermal conductivity in si units watt per meter kelvin just now i told you friends that is the correct answer is watt per meter kelvin right next identify the wrong statement the process of heat transfer so others are not correct joule per meter square second one and two cannot be answered none of the above is also not the correct answer identify the correct statement which is the correct statement the process of heat transfer is thermodynamically an irreversible process or a material medium must is always necessary for heat transmission or for heat exchange a temperature gradient must exist or heat flow is always from a high temperature to a low temperature in accordance with with second law of thermodynamics so the correct answer for this particular question is the a material medium is always necessary for heat transmission wrong statement is correct so others are it's a compulsory they are requirements basic requirements for the heat transfer but a material medium is always necessary for heat transmission is not correct actually because friends for radiation heat transfer there is no medium at all because across the vacuum which is present over 1000 km above the surface of the earth 
we are still receiving the radiation heat transfer from the sun even though there is no medium between the earth's surface and the sun after 1000 kilometers above the earth so that is the correct answer thermal conductivity of solid metals with a rise in temperature normally so what is the behavior of thermal conductivity in solids with a rise in temperature is it going to increase or decrease or remain constant or may increase or decrease depending on temperature the correct answer is definitely decreases as the temperature increases the thermal conductivity decreases inverse relationship between the temperature and the thermal conductivity right heat transmission is directly linked with the transference of medium itself that is there is actual motion of heated particles during what conduction convection or the other options are radiation only or conduction as well as radiation what is the correct answer the correct answer is second one what is the second option just now we have seen it is your convection okay friends so in the conduction there is no bodily movement of the particles but whereas in case of convection this is normally found between a solid medium and a liquid medium right so the correct answer is there is a what you call movement of the particles medium particles for example air is flowing over a plate having very high temperature so definitely the air particles are moving across the plate the correct answer is b or 2 let us go for the next question friends heat transfer takes place as per just now uh, we have discussed it is second law of thermodynamics once again it is given it is second law of thermodynamics so what the what is the second law of thermodynamics is going to say about that it is going to say that it is impossible to transfer heat across two bodies uh, uh, when uh, from a body at low temperature to high temperature provided there must be some energy must be expended to achieve this but spontaneously the heat flows from a body at higher temperature to the lower temperature and the second of thermodynamics is going to give the concept of entropy the material medium between the source the heat source and receiver is not affected during the process of heat transmission by what is the correct answer is it conduction or convection or radiation conduction as well as convection what is the correct answer the correct answer for this is radiation just to be were discussing about the mode of heat transfer between sun rays and also earth surface right it is not affected uh, so the material medium between for example between the sun and earth surface after 1000 km above the surface of that there is complete vacuum there is no medium at all even then we are receiving the heat from the heat energy from sun and he has been giving us heat for many years right when heat is transferred from one particle of hot body to another body by action motion of the heated particles it is referred to as heat transfer by what is this the correct answer is conduction right so just now we were talking about the rays yes, sir friends so for example there is a rod which you have heated for example metal rod so there is no movement of any particles okay uh, in the solid rod or metal rod even then if you hold the other end you are going to feel the heat or hotness of the rod but there is no bodily movement of the particles within the medium or solid rod so that is the correct answer so when heat is transferred from one part uh, one particular one particle of hot body to another by action of motion of the heated particles it is uh, referred to as heat transfer by conduction friends in this video we have seen the basic questions from uh, your heat transfer which is the first topic in the syllabus for your uh, parting lecturers for tspsc for both adobe engineering and mechanical engineering branches in the next video we are going to see some more questions which are helpful from the examination point of view friends i am offering online coaching for this particular examination tspsc 
uh, podic lecturers for both mechanical engineering and uh, uh, what you call uh, automobile engineering branches. If you are interested, you can mail me on sridhar.bpl at the rate of gmail.com as also you can contact me over 9925 which I will provide in the description box. The batches are going to be starting friends. You have got still a complete three months. We can complete the entire syllabus without any doubt and this is a good job. In fact, for those who want to prepare for further examination, for example IES and IAS for example such type of examinations, you have a lot of time for preparation and also salary is also not uh, less. It is very good salary. Approximately you will be getting 60,000 per month. If any, uh, And there are good number of vacancies for automobile and also mechanical also. Right? Both commonly I think it will be coming around 50. So if you are interested you can call me or mail me. Let us meet in the next video.